you want to catch the fish, first you got to find the fish. Let's take a look at the basics of how to tune in your fish finder. First things first, if your fish finder has those silly little fish symbols on it, turn them off. All they're doing is taking the data that your transducer sees and dumbing it down to make pretty pictures. When you see blobs and patches like this, you're looking at small fish, maybe some perch on the bottom or some bunker swimming around. Other than those fish symbols, most of the auto functions on a modern fish finder are pretty darn good. What you want to see is an arch shape, something about like this. On days when the automatic features are getting fooled, you may have to do what's called peaking the transducer to get the sensitivity set right. The first thing you'll do is change the range. You have to make it at least three times the depth. Next, we're going to take the sensitivity off of auto and increase it until we see a second bottom reading down below the first one. Then reduce sensitivity until the clutter's gone, but you still have that bottom reading down there. Now you're getting a pretty good view of what's underneath the boat. Now that you have the sensitivity set, you can put the range back where it belongs. And don't forget when you're looking at fish on the meter, if they're down near the bottom, use your zoom. You get a much better view of what's going on. Now notice all these nice little arches, that's a school of fish. Now here's another way you can get a lot more data out of your machine. Look at how the screen is moving across here. I can increase the speed that it's scrolling. By doing so, I'm looking at the freshest data available. That slow scroll only is showing you a history of what you went over before. Now, what if you're using a side scanner? Well, in that case, the auto function, again, is very good. The one thing that's really important for people to, to change according to their own taste is the color palette. This can really have a very big bearing on what you see on the screen and how it appears to your own eyes. Now, don't forget, your side scan sonar tends to see structure much better than fish. You won't see the arches, so don't drive around and look for them. You will see really good views of what lies on the bottom. Well, obviously, there's a lot more to using a fish finder and a side scanner, but hopefully these basic tips will help get you started.